Hello everyone. In today's quick tip, we're going to be looking at how to properly space text and some shortcuts on how to do it. And this will give you much better quality designs and carvings. So the very first thing we're going to do is add in some text. So we're going to go to the draw text tool. And for this example, I'm going to be using a downloaded font. You will usually have some more issues with downloaded fonts than you will with pre-installed fonts. So I'm just going to type in some example text. So I'll just type in learn your CNC and we can make it a little bit bigger if we wanted to. And we'll just center that into the job there and click close. Okay. Now if you zoom into this text, you can see we do have some issues with this font. We have some overlapping in some of these uh, areas as well as the font is really close together for all the letters. So that may give you issues if you try to carve this and you're left over with a very small amount of material in the middle there that may cause breakage of that material depending how deep you carve. So I'm going to show you some tips on how you can space these out better. So in order to space the letters, you want to go to the edit text spacing and curve tool. It's in the create vectors section. And now that's going to change your cursor to now be able to edit the text. So now you can see when you hover between two letters, it's showing the letters moving together. So if you click one time with your left mouse, you'll see the letters will move closer together. And then if you want to spread them apart, you're going to hold the shift button and click one time and you'll see that will space them back apart. And if you want to move the letters in bigger increments, you can hold the control key and click one time and you'll see those will move together at a bigger distance. And if I do control Z to bring those back, if you want to move them apart at bigger distances, hold the control and shift key and then click and you'll see they will space apart at greater distances. Now I'm going to do control Z to undo that again. Now you can see we have to move just about all of these letters uh, further apart. So if you're using version 11 or above, there is a new shortcut that you can use to space all of the letters at the same time, rather than trying to space each one individually. So to do that, if you want to move them all together at the same time, hold the alt key and click in between any of the letters and you'll see all of them will move closer together at the same time. If you want to move them all apart, hold the shift and the alt key and now they will all move apart at the same time. And then once again, if you want to move in bigger distances, use those same shortcuts, but hold the control key as well. So to spread them all apart at bigger distances, hold alt shift and control and then click. And now you could see they were all space at greater distances at the same time. So now you can see we have much better spacing in between these letters. And now that you spaced all of them, you can fine tune some of these if they are too far apart or too close together. You can just click in between some of these just to make some minor adjustments. And you can see by spacing them all apart at the same exact time, that's going to save you a lot of time if you have a lot of text to do. And then once you're done to exit this tool, you have to go to the edit object section and click on the selection mode and then come back in the screen and click and you'll see you're back to the regular selection mode. And now your text has been spaced much better. All right. So hopefully those tips helped you out. And if you're new to Vetric or you just want to learn more on how to use it more efficiently, then I encourage you to check out my free bootcamp training. So it's the Vetric bootcamp. And I have a lot of helpful tips in here for learning Vetric software. So if you're interested in checking this out, I will put a link down below in the description. So that's all I have for this one. Make sure you like and subscribe for more.